So Pat McGuinness, National Housing Party, out on the campaign trail. Just, uh, just finished my uh, canvassing session. I go twice a week and uh, I do two hours each session. And I've had uh, quite a successful two days this week. Uh, been in this estate for the last two days. And um, I've collected uh, seven, seven postal vote applications. So all the people saying they're definitely going to vote for me. So, um, yeah, it's really positive and I hardly get any negative responses on the doorstep. There is like literally, there's nothing to be frightened of. You know, you might get one or two, but uh, generally people, even the people who said no to me today, um, he, he politely said, no, that won't be for me. Because, you know, I knock on the door knock on the door and say to them, oh, did you get my leaflet? Yeah, got your leaflet. Did you read it? Yeah, read it. What, what do you think of it? And um, they basically say, um, oh no, it's not for me. And that's fine. That's what I want to know. <clears throat> Put that down on the sheets. And um, uh, the more data we get, the better. So we've got nothing to worry about. I mean, I am on course to get a really good uh, result in my ward. And, um, you know, it's uh, 5,000 people don't vote around here, guys, yeah? So we've got about 8,000 voters on the electoral register. Only 3,000 take part in the last, in the last, say, four or five elections. Only 3,000 out of the 8,000 bother to vote. And there's a four year gap in each election. So I've got two years to go to my to my election and um, I'm just going to keep knocking on doors. This is what I've always done at campaigning, trying to get people to um, trying to get people to uh, vote for us. And um, this bit here, this is Grazing Road. This is Grazing Road. And um, this is going to be going on my next leaflet because there's no parking around here. Literally no parking whatsoever. And they've, they've more or less, you know, there's my canvassing board. They've more or less just put a cycle lane down the whole of this road. And they could have easily put parking spaces as well. And they haven't done it. They could have easily done that. So these are the things I'm going to be campaigning on. I'm campaigning for a hundred new parking spaces around this area because in Covent Garden, there's literally no parking meters anywhere, let alone residence parking. So that's going to be a big campaign issue. Also the shops along here on Grazing Road, they oppose these cycle lanes come in, coming in here and um, they opposed them, they had a consultation. 84% of the residents and the shop owners opposed it. They said, we don't want these cycle lanes. They do not want the cycle lanes. And the, 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 the Camden Council, Labour run Camden Council just ignored them and just done it. And these floating bus stops, I'm getting a lot of stories of um, mothers getting off the bus with their children and the children are getting hit by the bikes going along by this bus stop. These are called floating bus stops. Now, if, you, if I come into the road here, you can easily see that bus stop is easily the same width of a car, yeah? They could easily put parking, parking spaces along here. Make the, make the, uh, make the cycle lane a little bit slimmer and they could have at least three parking spaces here, you know, so, um, this is one camp. This is one of my main cam campaign. Um, one of my campaign issues. Um, heard quite a devastating story. A, a family of six living in a two bedroom, and they're just, they're, you know, some of them are not even allowed to go on the on the waiting lists for the housing. Yet Camden Council continually say refugees are welcome here. Refugees are welcome here. That's all they say. And they won't let people, working class people in Camden, they won't even let them go on the waiting list for council flats. So I'm getting a great response. 
it's all positive stuff Jesus Christ is with me and I will march to victory with Jesus Jesus Christ is King National Housing Party we're a Christian nationalist party we need Christianity back in society even the atheists now realize we're better off in a Christian society so over the road there is Argos Right. Argos was there for years and that's shut down now. We've got a four day week now in the centre of London, which is my ward. And there's been shops closing all around there because of the lockdowns, the repercussions of the lockdowns of the four day week. None of these business can survive because not enough people are coming into the city. They have literally destroyed London with those lockdowns. So um, thanks for watching. If you want to get involved and stand in elections for us, please step forward. There's nothing to be frightened of. We can train you up what to do. We support you. We can get leaflets to you. But if, if you're not up for all that, just even by joining the party is a great, great help for us. So we've got new people joining all the time. And um, keep an eye on us because we are going to be growing. We're not taking part in a general election. We are... Um, we're a local elections party at the moment. Things are looking good and we're doing well. Thanks for watching.